Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I work at their baby care album uh, cover. Okay, I work at the shaker cover because our inside I use a other different um, tutorial. My so um my tutorial. Um, hola a todos, bienvenidos a vuelta a mi canal. Hoy quiero enseñarles un tutorial de cómo hice el cover de este álbum, uh, lo que en una versión más pequeña. Eh, por dentro voy a hacer otro tipo de tutorial, no voy a usar el mismo. Uh, I did, uh, this new album size is a different sizes. This is seven and a half by five and a half. We have two pieces and the binding is two by seven and a half. Okay, I got it the first chipboard. Las dos piezas estas miden siete y medio por cinco y medio. Y la del binding mide dos por siete y medio. Before I work with the ruler, I show you the little pieces where I put on the holes for a shaker. Estos son los, lo que voy a usar en los huequitos que van a tener shaker, que van a ser de lentejuela. Okay, and my ruler is so long, but I mark on the core size. No, let me see at the half half inch and half inch. Okay, it's got a little bit part here, both sides. Es en half. En cada lado vas a marcar eh, la medida de medio. Ok. Y vamos a marcarlo. And I'm going to mark. Ok. Put your pencil. Both sides. Ok. Half inch the both sides. Okay. Sorry. Okay, put over here and here. Okay. This is the first start, um, the first part to the tutorial and I going to look what I decorate. Okay. Much like it. I put this here and that part here. I think maybe here like this and this okay so here I put this and like this yeah that's what I like it okay and I going to score now or oh, mark with the pencil vamos a marcar un cuarto de cada lado okay de las partes de arriba ok vamos a marcar acá ahí es que hay una cuadra una cuadra aquí y una cuadra aquí ambos sides ok hay una cuadra And a quarter. Okay. Okay, so now I mark here. And let me fold in here. So now I back to the little pieces. Okay, that pieces is size two by two. So I got it. That part and I cut in two by two inches. Cortan una partecita como de un ejemplo que mida dos por dos. 
So this is a sample, the two by two. And you put here on the same there. And you mark, okay, with a pencil. And back the other one. And mark and a pencil. Okay. No sé si se ve bien la marca. Okay. So now I mark first down. Okay. Okay. And another part. It's fine. So I need to check the size is like two, three, eight. So I mark one, two, so you bring half inch the bow size, okay? When you put here, you half inch to the separate. That is more easy, I think, and it's my style to create that. So, pienso que así es más fácil hasta para decorar y todo. And I work with the uh, cuter, creo que se llama así. Con la cuchilla voy a cortar todos los huequitos y vamos a ver cómo creo. quedó, ¿ok? finish okay I'm working at the corners if you see how the video I cut um, a lot of times on the same um, side because I cut a little bit the first one and I tied again okay estaba diciendo que cuando si me ven en el video he cortado varias veces y es porque eh, yo corto primero suavecito para que eh, salga bien el corte y una vez que esté la marca hecha entonces aprieto más el, el cuter no sé cómo se dice cuter cuter algo así entonces ya está eh, la parte de adelante this is all 
So now I work with the pretty cover here. Okay, the other side. Okay. Vamos a ver entonces que voy a ver qué color de papel porque en la realidad uh, no tengo ni idea qué color le pongo. Hubiera querido un papel bien bonito, pero como estamos en cuarentena, pues no podemos salir. He pensado como en algo rosado. Así que voy a usar este color. I'm showing the color paper with this creation because I want to the paper, but you know, it's in quarantine, so I'm staying home. I can go out. Okay. So now let me find in my other stuff for the cover. Okay. Okay, I have a type of paper and I cut in half, so five and a half. Maybe a little more. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna cut five and a half. Okay. So now let me see. Like this. Okay. So that part I bring tie it too. Okay. And I go to use a tacky glue for the cover. One piece the five and a half by seven and a half. Okay, so now I put on the center. Okay, I put together. Okay, I don't put any glue, only I escort with the pencil. I mark, solamente vamos a marcar con el lápiz los cuadritos. Okay. Porque es más fácil si lo haces así, ya decoras la hoja, a, a no tener que estar cortando listones por listones. Ya simplemente lo cortas y ¡pum! Así va. Entonces vamos a decorar. Let's go to the gray. Let me see. Like this. Okay. Or... Yeah, I think that is better. Okay. So, let me put it together. Okay. Um, 
I'm starting with the tape in a quarter inch. Voy a poner el tape, pero déjame para cortar primero la cartulina y go first. Cartulina. the glue at the binding size ok, right here voy a ponerle el pegamento solamente en esta parte del binding primero el tape y cortar las puntas so now I take the tape and I cut the corners a lot of people take a different style to the corners but I, I like my corners so and my corners is really strong mucha gente tiene diferentes estilos de cortar las puntas pero a mí me gusta así como las hago y de hecho quedan bien fuerte ok entonces ahora van a apretar acá. So, tie here. And tie here. So, ahora voy a cortar las puntas. está bien dura this is heavy cardstock ok so we show you because I don't see that part les voy a enseñar aquí las pongo tape porque dentro hay que cortarlas ahora así que tengo que darles un mayor resultado por así decirlo so, so now let me take here that part is more easy you put glue here and I close Esto en mi país le decían forrar cuadernos y es súper fácil de hacer. Tuve que forrar muchos cuadernos cuando niña, así que... Look like this. So now, let me see, maybe... Yeah, it's better. I got it wrong. Because I put the tape here, but I don't see that. So that's is trash. So now... I take the tape here and I put some little bit glue in that part. Okay. 
and I close this okay and here and I tie the corners I move everything here and I don't know where is my clips now <laughs> Hice un pequeño cambio el otro día y no sabía dónde estaban los clips. Ya, yeah, put the clips on the corner. Ok, and I cut here. So now, let me take the cuter. And with the cuter, I cut some press of the paper here. Ok. Okay, I cut here, okay, and the other side to use this and double here, okay, and here, and I cut here. And here, okay, and that here. Solamente le corto las puntitas y lo doblo en vez de cortarlo para que le quede el bindi más grueso. Mientras más papel tenga, más grueso queda. And we have my whole family here, and it's hard to create a tool. Um, tutorial with everybody stay at home because the kids play my mom called me my husband told to me so I'll try my best <laughs> okay I tie here okay so is tape double size so you tie here too okay that whole look let me take the clips because the cotton is already dry so now I cut here and here <laughs> como lo usé ahora el frente ok digamos que se me han ido algunos detallitos errorcitos pero no es nada como grave que no se pueda arreglar we have a little bit trouble but it's easy to fix it eh? so let me go here I start with this part ok Okay, from this. So you cut and tie it. Okay, try to cut more short, a little bit more because the the gray on top need more space. Tratan de cortarlo lo más cortico que pueda para que eh, en la parte del cover de acá eh, decorado se vea más bonito. And let me put some glue. Okay. And I close. With clips, lo cerramos. Si le ponen unos clips, te ayuda mucho porque así eso está apretadito ahí en lo que puedes adelantar otra cosa. ¿verdad? Let 
imitate trash and I got the other part. country the album open like this size but you can work any size because it's not already decorated okay la apretamos and ties on a little bit and right here too okay so now let me finish the card. Shaker, okay. Tengo el binding listo. The binding is already okay. So I put before a cover here, okay. So let me cut one page. Five in a quarter. Vamos a cortar una página en cinco cuartos por siete cuartos. And seven in a quarter. Okay. So that page I put here. Esta página la vamos a poner aquí. Okay. But before, let me take the little bit pieces inside so little pieces is cut so let me put some glue One size okay in one three a and lo van a cortar en uno a ver no sorry is 
175. So, lo van a cortar en 1.75. Viene siendo... Yeah. Ok. 175. And, let's see. Yes, look like this because I want to sum a little bit the gray corners. So, oops. So, I'm cut in all little pieces. de nuevo porque ahora no me acuerdo cómo era que le íbamos a poner creo que era así I no remember where I put just right here I think right here okay this look like this or oh, like this <laughs> is seven and a half by five and a half. Esta pieza mide siete y medio por cinco y medio, pero le voy a cortar apenas un pedacito de cada lado. You can cut some little bit um, piece the all sizes, four sizes, okay? And going to cut all holes. When you cut the holes, I use the rulers because before you cut this, you want, you can do. So you mark a little bit more for the bow size, okay? A little bit, not too much, okay? When you cut, so you go in. Okay, anyway, I use the ruler. I'm really badly. <laughs> Let me try. Okay, I mark some little bit more. Right here. And right here. And Done with the 
paper decorate look like this so now we have our um uh, acetate i think but this is slow this is not hard acetate and i cut in seven and a quarter okay by five in a quarter okay Just like this. So now I put the acetate under the gray paper. Okay. And we work with a table size. Okay. We don't, we don't have the small tape, so I use this. I don't tape de este que es más chiquito, pero como no tengo, so voy a trabajar con el que tengo, okay? Y el que tengo es de un cuarto. Okay. So I use this in this part, okay, and I cut the rest. Okay, let me try to cut and I try to reuse. Okay. So now we take and let me try to reuse to the other size. Solo corté y voy a tratar de reusarlo del otro lado. Y me quedó perfect. So before now we use the same tape on the center part. Use only at the center part, okay? Okay, right here. And right here. So now we found to the um, sequence and I back. Okay, the cover is so pinky and the album is pink, so I work with the white sequins because let me try first to put the let me see wait i put the um acetate paper first voy a poner primero el acetato primero porque esto está bien delgadito y se puede romper y sería duro volver a empezar de nuevo okay let me Use the acetate first. So now I use the tape again. So now we're going to put the sequence. You can use if you choice and any other color, but I like white i don't want everything in pink Ooh. let me put a little bit white because i got other color let me get other color we have a light um green let me find the other color okay i found something different and we had these sequins some different color and I use in that part 
a pretty butterflies. Oh my god, I love it. And we have some little blue. Okay. Oh my god, my daughter is fighting with my mom. Maybe you listen in, in her. My mom said it to her. Okay. Not too much. That's it. So. <laughs> I put some stew butterflies. Okay. Look like this. Here I take the tape. Let me okay. So I put it back and I make the same here because I forgot. Yeah. I forgot to put short parts. Me voy a poner el tape de pedacito y se me ocurrió ponerlo completo y no me di cuenta. Okay. Así es como se va a ver el cover. Vamos a quitarle el tape al acetato. Let's go to take the tape here. The acetate. And I found the wrong. Ooh. This correct side. And we put on the center because this is tape and I can move no 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 wait 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 okay and you tie okay you tie here And that's how we look the shaker. That's pretty. I love it. So now we work um, at the tutorial of the album. I created inside this tutorial. If you see the other video, uh, this album is super pretty. Okay. But for today, I finish at the cover and let's go to see the next step